It's hard to imagine a dish that's really incredibly tasty, but is also incredibly healthy for you. And that's what we're doing today. We are doing dos de cabillo en papillot, or cod baked in parchment paper. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time tuning in, let us know you're out there by giving us a big thumbs up below, and then hit that subscribe button to make sure you never miss a video. Now, let's start cooking. This dish is a Mediterranean style dish that is just big on fresh flavors. So we are doing today, we are doing some cod fillets in, uh, in France, this is called dos de cabillo. So it's, the, it's actually, it actually comes from the back of the cod. So it's a quite thick piece of, of fish. And in the States, if you, you know, if you find a piece like this, or you could use halibut, you could also use any white fish that's a, a thin white fish with the bone in, that will work as well for this method. It's basically en papillot, which just means it's going to be baked in parchment paper. So to get back to our ingredients, we've got, I've got two servings here of uh, fresh cod and this is North Atlantic cod. And just a, a note about, about fish, um, I've taken this out of the refrigerator probably an hour or so ago. And what you want to do is if there's, especially if your fish has been frozen, this fish is fresh and it has not been frozen, but there's moisture uh, that's, that's in the fish that you want to get off the surface so what I like to do is just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on the fish and leave it for about 30 minutes. And as you can see, you can see some of the moisture that's coming up. And then what we're gonna do is pat that dry before we bake our fish because that moisture will keep that fish from actually developing a nice crust. Now we're not, fr we're not pan frying it, we're not broiling it, we're not grilling it, but still we want a nice, um, you know, outer, somewhat of a crust on, on this fish. And now it's been sitting out at room temperature for about the last 15 minutes or so, because you don't want to cook it from just cold. You want to cook it when it's at, at room temperature. All right, and the rest of our ingredients, we're gonna to add to this, or just, like I said, it's all Mediterranean ingredients. So we've got some fresh cherry tomatoes, just some beautiful uh, cherry tomatoes. We've got some fresh lemon, and if you can find the Italian style lemons from, you know, from Italy, from the uh, Sorrento area, or even from what's below Italy, Sicily. Uh, those are fantastic. Um, or even Meyer lemons, because they're a little bit, a little bit sweeter. And we've got some fresh, uh, so, or some Kalamata olives, and you could use some green olives if you want. Um, and these actually have the pits in them. You can remove them if you'd like. I just like the look of them with the pits in them. You just want to remind your guests that there's pits in them uh, before they bite into them. And we've got some capers. And we're using an ingredient, and this is an optional ingredient. You could certainly just use parsley, but we are using basically parsley of the sea. And this parsley of the sea is basically algae that's been basically been dried and mixed in with some parsley. So it's got nice seafood flavor and it's gonna bring a really nice brightness, you know, to the fish. And then I've got an egg here, and what we're gonna do with that is we're just going to um, whisk the egg, and we're gonna use it to close up our parchment, our bag of parchment. So those are our ingredients. Oh, and we've got some good olive oil here, not, not your top shelf that you uh, want to put on salads, but this is really extra virgin olive oil that uh, you can cook with. So that, those are our ingredients, let's get started. To get started with our ingredients, the first thing I wanna do is slice our lemons very, very thin. And so the best way to do this is of course to have a very, very sharp knife. And then um, I'm just going to, I'm using my, my finger, my knuckle as a guide and just put it right on the edge of the lemon and just come down just like that and slice it as thinly as you can because you know, someone will, will be eating this lemon, but no one wants to get a huge big bite of lemon. So thin slices is, is the way you wanna go. And we've already sliced our cherry tomatoes in half. And so that's all we need to do and we'll start putting it together. To get started with our fish, 
we're just going to drizzle a little bit of salt, and this is nice sea salt, it's fine sea salt over the fish. And again, we're not looking for heavy, heavy flavors here. We're just looking for pre pretty mild flavors, actually. We are just going to place our fish, and I've got this, this parchment paper. It needs to be big enough to where when you roll it up, you have about, or when you put the fish on there, and we're gonna fold this in half, we want at least three or four inches on either side of the fish, and you'll see why in just a minute. But we are now just going to drizzle our fish with some sea salt and a little bit of olive oil just like that and it doesn't need a lot and let's just line our lemons up on our fish just like so and now we'll put our olives on and all of this is just going to Flavor this fish incredibly. Our capers all around. And I'm leaving a lot of the, the juices out of these, out of these, these things, the oils, the brine. And let's just sprinkle our tomatoes over. Wonderful. And let's finish with our algae or parsley of the sea. Basically it's seaweed, if I'm not sure if I said that or not. All right, so now you can see why we put our fish off to one side. What we're gonna do is we're just going to brush the edge of our parchment with our, our egg wash. Just like that. And you want to work fairly quickly with this because you don't want everything to get soggy. And you know, if you want, let's add just a little bit of just a little bit of black pepper to this. A little bit more flavor. And now we're just going to fold this parchment over, match up the ends here, just like that. And now we're just going to start making a a pouch just by twisting it together and that egg wash is going to of course make everything stick and basically what you're doing is just making a a steam pouch so that it keeps the moisture into the fish and the extra steam will evaporate so those are our our two fillets and you know I think I'm going to actually use a larger we'll just use a larger pan we don't want them crowded in the pan so we're going to transfer these to our our larger pan and by the way preheat your oven to 375 Fahrenheit or 190 centigrade before you start this because you want your oven preheated and ready to go when you are ready to put it in and now we are ready for the oven. Okay, into our hot oven with our fish. And we're gonna put it on the, on the middle. We've just got our, our rack in the center of the oven. And so that's where we'll put our fish. And we'll let it go for 15 to 18 minutes, depending on the thickness. Now these fillets are fairly thick, so we're probably gonna use up all of that 18 minutes. And we'll check them at that point. All right, it's been about 18 minutes let's take a look oh wow and you know when you're doing this when you've when you've put the egg wash on there you get a little smell of that kind of burning egg don't don't let that scare you it's 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 okay all right so let's just take a and when you're doing this part just make sure you're careful because there's nice nice amount of steam that's built up Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And it smells incredible. Look at that. Look at all the juices that are gathered. Fantastic. 
And let's take a look and see how flaky the fish is. Oh yes, nice, and look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's get it plated. All right, we are ready to dive in. So now we have finished this fish with a drizzle of really good olive oil, and this is not the olive oil we cooked with. We cooked with extra virgin olive oil, but we, we reached for a, a even higher grade of olive oil uh, that we wanted to finish this with. And you can get, you know, just something that's a, a cold pressed or first cold pressed olive oil is fantastic for this. I've got a little, some dots of uh, some sweet potato puree, which you can find the video for. I'll put a link to that above. And uh, then just a, uh, a little bacon, uh, just for a little crunch. So we've got, you know, flavors, we've got textures, we've got, you know, the firm fish, we've got the creamy uh, sweet potato puree, and we've got the crispy bacon. And for our flavors, we've got the buttery fish, we've got the saltiness of the olives and the capers, the tartness of the lemons and the tomatoes. And it's just gonna be fantastic. And we've paired that today with a wine that's actually fairly new to me. And this wine is, uh, is from the Northern Rhone Valley. And it's a wine that I'm not that familiar with, but supposedly will go very well with the fish. It is a seven, the grapes are 70% Rousson and 30% white Grenache. And it should be paired very well with our fish. Let's just give it a taste. I'm just gonna get a little bit of the fish, a little tomato. Mm. Mmm, what a wonderful flavor. It's very unique with those, with those tomatoes, the capers and the olives. You got the tartness of the lemon. And you know, we literally, we have what, three slices of lemon here and the, the juice just permeates the, the whole dish. It's just, it's just fantastic. It's not overpowering. It's just very, very nice. And um, the sweet potatoes. Mmm, just very good. Well, I hope you'll make this. And it is very healthy. It's keto friendly. It's gluten free. And it's just very, very good for you. So enjoy. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, give us a thumbs up below and hit that subscribe button. It's free. And ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as we release a new video. Also, let us know in the comments if you have any special recipe requests. We really appreciate you tuning in. See you next time. Do de cabillo en papillot or baked cod cod. Ugh.